if Lawbok isn't your favorite character, I need to know why. After this episode, if he isn't at the very least your favorite male character in all of Wakaba Got Kill, tell me why. Because this dude, this episode, not only is he still after the ladies, he's like, yo, I'm still going to try to be smooth. Even though he don't get him, he's kind of like on that Sanji level. He's like, damn, man, always wrong time, wrong place or whatever. But then he can also kick ass. It's not just that he's a joke character. He's not comedic relief. He's a little bit more than that. And I respect it. And I was like, okay, this solidified hands down favorite male character in a comic got killed, Lavok by far. Let's go. So I'm glad with this week's episode, it didn't completely ignore like that Chelsea just died and some of what she did ultimately wasn't for nothing because if you can see, Kodome is pretty fucked up in this episode, so Chelsea's death wasn't completely in vain. Like she actually did a little bit of demolition on Kodome because Kodome's just fucked up. And I think the more that Wave finds out about the Jaegers, I think possibly even Wave would go on some sort of rebellious streak or possibly want to leave them at some given point because he finds out that if you leave the Jaegers, like, you get kicked off of the Jaegers, they will kill you to silence you, and Wave doesn't seem like the type of guy that would go for that, he honestly seems like he's straightforward, you know, the up and up type of person, so to hear something like that, I'd imagine it kind of rubs him the wrong way, because he's very similar to Tatsumi, they both, like, they want justice at the end of the day, and he just happened to be, you know, part of the Jaegers, so ultimately, I think that him finding that out and kind of caring about Kurome is going to really make him at some given point possibly even go against the government himself. Not that he's, you know, going to be, oh, I want to be a criminal, but ultimately he wants to do what's right. And if they're going after Kurome, that's not what's right for him. So he's going to rebel against it. And in this episode, we get introduced to the Rakshasa demons. I think I said that right. That name is like a pain in the ass, but well, they were introduced and then majority of them were killed off in this episode so i don't know how demonic they really were well i guess that kind of shows how much of a beast night raid ultimately is and mainly this episode was covering the fight of akame versus one of them and lavok versus two of them and i was like lavok you, you're fucking epic but akame had her fight too and i was like damn you know she really don't need help at the end of the day and well neither did lavok but like just seeing akame going in using her sword yet again i was just like Great fucking fights. Like, some of the aspects of Akama Got Killed kind of reminds me in a way of, like, Claymore that a lot of the times, a lot of these episodes will have action-packed episodes, and it's, like, trying to keep you entertained while still trying to give you some exposition and plot development and kind of progressing through things. So I kind of like that aspect because I do want to be entertained at the same time while I'm getting exposition, and I think episodes like this kind of do it. So first you get the fight between Akame and one of the demons, and then you also get Lavok, and I was like... Lavok took two of them out, and these were the people that were trying to like, yeah, man, we we don't need the Jaegers, we can do it, like, really? Lavok took two of you motherfuckers out, and uh, don't get me wrong, Lavok was fucking awesome for doing that, but I don't think Lavok is one of the most powerful amongst Night Raid. So in the end, the demons just weren't on that level like the Jaegers. And poor Lavok, like, every time he wants to go after a chick, is either something's in the way, something's not right, I mean, now he's fighting a hot-ass chick that said, oh, yeah, if you were to push up on me, I probably would have let you get some, but like, damn. Or Lavok. And, oh my gosh, when the leader of the Path to Peace showed up and was like, oh yeah, Tatsumi and mine, you should totally get together. Like, you definitely would benefit from these squabbles. I'm like, yo, Tatsumi, there is far better fish in the sea, in particular a Night Raid, or even as up for that matter, than mine. That would, literally, honestly, being le legit, mine would be my last choice if I was Tatsumi out of all the girls in the whole Akama Got Killed world. Like, all of Night Raid, you got Leone. Oh, Leone. <laughs> you got fucking Nagenda. Well, I'm not too fond of an agenda. I think she looked better in her younger days. That's just me, but I still would pick her over mine. I mean, Akame, you had Chelsea. Well, you don't got Chelsea no more, but you had Chelsea. Fuck that shit. Like, mine is last, please. And Lord Boric was butthurt at the end of this episode, finding out that his demons got their fucking asses slayed. So, overall, very enjoyable and very good episode. A lot of ass-kicking action. Once again, progressing Night Raid's invasion to try to get to the minister at some given point. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I'm giving this one 8.5 out of 10. I felt as though this really cemented Lavok as a fucking awesome character. And I'm like, okay, new favorite character. Let's go. Let me know what you thought of this episode, though. What do you think about Lavok's two fights? What do you think about Akame going in. What do you think about Kurome being injured? Do you think that this is going to hinder her and eventually she is going to get taken down? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the things that causes her death. And again, that would add more validity to what happened to Chelsea. It's like, okay, she got fucked up, but in the process, she helped 
to defeat Kurome in the end. Which kind of makes me wonder real quick, if Kurome was to go on the run because she doesn't want to lose her life, would she eventually go and join her sister? That would be powerful as fuck, two sisters fighting together. Do you think she would actually join her sister, or would she just say, nah, fuck it? And your world's also this episode, but that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you do so as well, that'd be awesome. I'm for the world, and as always, people, have an awesome day.